Hello, everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care Podcast. I'm Dwayne, and I'm a certified RV inspector. And today we're going to be talking about the top three quality used Class C RVs that I can recommend as an RV inspector. Now, before we get started on that, let me invite everyone who's listening to the podcast to subscribe to my podcast, and that way you won't miss any of the great episodes coming up. Also, please visit my website at rvinspectionandcare.com. You'll find lots of articles and videos there all about RVs and RV life that I'm sure will be helpful for you. But let's get back to the subject at hand, and that's the top three quality used Class C RVs that I recommend. You know, there's lots of reasons to buy a Class C RV, but the questions are, which one should you buy, and should you buy it new or used? Well, the truth is that you can save a lot of money if you buy a Class C on the used market. You'll save all the initial cost of a new uh, Class C and on the depreciation as well. And if you buy it a year old, well, then most likely by that time, all the little bugs and problems that came out of the RV factory has been worked out by that time. So there's good reasons to buy a used Class C. What we're going to talk about today, then, is my list of what I consider to be the top three quality manufacturers and models of used RVs. And we're going to go back about five years, not be too much farther than that. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to start with the full-size Class Cs first. Now, the full-size Class Cs are really the ones that probably most people think about when they think about Class C RVs. And here's a general rundown of what you can expect to see in a full-size Class C. Usually, it's going to be somewhere between 24 and 32 feet in length. It could be anywhere in that area. You're usually going to see them on a Ford chassis. And uh, the usual uh, chassis uh, models that are used are either the E350 or the E450. Because it is a Ford chassis, well, then it's probably going to have a Ford engine in it. And that means either the V10 that's been used for years or now in recent times, the new V8 engine that Ford is putting out. And usually in that size, Class C, it's about five to seven different floor plans that you can choose from because there's more area in them. They will also sleep anywhere from six to 10 people in the Class C. So it's a really good choice for families. So what recommendations do I have for buying a used Class C that's a full size? Well, there's three manufacturers I'm going to cover today, but only two are actually putting out full-size Class Cs. And the first one I'm going to mention is Winnebago. My goodness, when people think about Winnebago's, I think in their mind they see a Class C RV because Winnebago and Class C is almost synonymous in the minds of many people. So there's been a model that Winnebago has put out for years and years, and it's really solid, and it's the Mini Winnie. So this is a model that I can highly recommend to you. If you're in the full-size Class C market, consider a Winnebago Mini Winnie for sure. Next up is Integra. Now, most people probably think Integra, well, they just make uh, Class A RVs. Not so. They put out some nice Class Cs. And my recommendation is that you consider the Odyssey. Very fine, full-size Class C RV that's well made. All right, now let's talk about the smaller Class Cs. These are the ones that are really getting popular now. Very hot market for them. They look almost like uh, vans in many ways. They're generally built on the Mercedes chassis. They're usually only about 25, 26 feet long, and they come with a diesel engine in it. And that's something a lot of people like because it gives them a little bit better fuel economy. 
Because the Class C is smaller, well, there's only about four to five floor plans to choose from, and it won't sleep quite 10 people usually, but you can usually get six to sleep in the smaller Class Cs without too much issue. So what makers and manufacturers and models do I recommend here? Once again, Winnebago, and Winnebago makes the Navion. The Navion is really popular and catching on. Again, it's that Mercedes chassis. A lot of people are looking for that, and Winnebago does a very good job with the Navion. Next up is Integra. Again, they also make a smaller Class C, and we're going to recommend the Quest. Very good, smaller, van-like Class C RV. And finally, we're going to add in Tiffin to this mix. And you may be shaking your heads like, hey, wait a minute, Tiffin makes Class A RVs. Well, believe it or not, they also make a Class C and a very good small Class C that's built on that Mercedes chassis. And it's called the Wayfarer. If you find a used Wayfarer uh, Class C RV, well, then it could very well be a very good choice for you to make if you're looking for the smaller Class C. Well, that's my list of the top three makers and models of Class C RVs, both full size and smaller. Is that all the really quality used Class Cs that are out there? Oh no, in fact, these very makers, Winnebago, Integra, uh, they build more models than just the ones I talked about today. And any of those models would be a very good choice because they build a good quality product when compared with their competition. Now, Tiffin only builds the one, but the others, Winnebago, Integra, they build other models. In fact, Winnebago covers... Uh, a wide range of Class Cs, and any one of them would be a good choice. But there are other fine RV manufacturers in the Class C market, too. We just don't have time to cover them all on this podcast and this video today. So, do you have any recommendations for a quality Class C used that you would like to recommend as well? If so, please leave it in the comments below for the video. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time. Mm -hmm.